the kingdom of God is in steps. Just like when we go to school, you begin with primary school, then you go to secondary school, and you go to university or college. So, um, before you accept Christ Jesus, your God is creation. Your God is creation. But when you when you know Christ Jesus, when you believe in Jesus, you become a child of God. You see that? Now, when you receive, when you be, when you, when you become a child of God, then God fills you with His Spirit. Amen. Amen. And when God fills you with His Spirit, you become a minister. You, be, you are able to serve. You are able to do the work of God. Wherever you are located. Not only inside the church. But everywhere you find yourself. When God fills you with the Holy Spirit. You are able to minister to each other. Amen. Amen. In many ways. That glorify God. Hallelujah. Amen. But we begin by being creations. Then we become children of God. In John chapter 1. In verse 10 it says. He was in the world. Talking about Jesus. Jesus was in the world. And the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. Isn't it amazing? Very sad. But then verse 12 says. But as many as, but as, many as received him. To them he gave the right to become children of God. Amen. Who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Bible says when Jesus came to this earth, though the world was made through him, many did not believe in him. And he came to his own people, according to the flesh, the children of Israel, but still many did not receive him. But it was not the case with everyone. The whole district of Angola can refuse Jesus. But when you choose Jesus, Amen, Amen. God receives you. Amen. Amen. God sees you as an individual before he sees you as a group. You see that? Amen. What is it? You have to stand Amen. as an individual in your faith towards God. Yes. Amen. Because Amen. that's what God considers. Amen. 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 When your neighbor falls, don't fall because your neighbor has fallen. Your faith, Amen. your faith is counted as one. Amen. 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 God sees you as one. As an individual. So when Jesus came to his own people and he visited them, they rejected him. They refused him. But some, the low people, the low people, the poor people, Amen. Amen. The children. Those who are not in leadership. 
They welcomed him. They believed his word. They believed his message. And Jesus gave them power to become the children of God. He promoted them. He promoted them from being just creatures to become to becoming children of God. When you believe in Jesus, you become God's child. Now that is very precious. Amen. Child of God, that is very precious. Can you imagine God to be your, your father? Ay, 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 ay. It is so big. It's so precious. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing you can compare with it. That when you believe in Jesus, when you believe in the message that Jesus Christ brought, you become a child of God. Amen. Amen. Now I want to tell you, God is the maker of the heavens and the earth. God is so rich. God is so powerful. God is so majestic. Wow. And he's your father. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's your father. Are we together? That should make a lot of difference in our lives. Now let me tell you this, child of God. If you want to enjoy the things of God, if you want to see the hand of God, you must be a person of revelation. You must understand your God a certain way. The way you see your God determines how you are going to approach Him, how you are going to receive from Him. Amen. Amen. That's why you must have the quality word of God in your life and you believe it and accept it and be Believe what it says okay, you know, like, yes. and expect your father to honor that word. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a child of God. You are better than the canoe. You are better than any human person who does not have God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, He loved at the so people that He gave them His only Son. That whosoever believes in Him should not perish. Perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it looks today you look like you are you are nobody. People can look down on you. But if you have Jesus in your life, if you have the Christ in your life. God has prepared mm. that you spend the whole eternity with his son Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the only thing you had to do was to believe on Jesus and continue to believe on him until the end. I want to tell you today, your tomorrow is better than your today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God has prepared eternal things for us. But also, as we are waiting for those eternal things, even in this life, God has promised us help. God has given us healing when we are sick. God has given us forgiveness 
when we miss the mark, God has given us the reverence when the devil attacks us. Even in this life, God has given us the Holy Spirit to lead us, to empower us, to speak to us, amen, to show us the way in this life. God has given us provision to meet our needs even in this life. You don't have to live like a beggar when God is your father. You see that? You have to get the revelation that God is so good it doesn't matter where you are. If you know how to believe God, if you know how to, to walk the word of God, you will see the glory of God. Amen. You will see the glory of God. Wherever you are, you will see the glory of God. Lift up your hands and say, I'm a believer. Say, I'm a child of God. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, visit me today. Feel me today. Help me today. As I believe, this is my day. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Shout to the Lord. It doesn't matter where you are. You know, just last week, I've been reading the book of Deuteronomy. And God was speaking to the children of Israel through Moses. And giving them commandments as they were about to possess the land. And the gasp was also warning them that if they don't keep, if they don't obey his voice and continue doing his commandments. That even when they possess the land, he will dispossess them and scatter them in nations. But while I was reading that, also God said to them that it shall come to pass that when you are scattered in nations you don't know, in faraway places. And while you are there, and you remember the Lord your God, and you begin to call upon Him, and you begin to, to do His word again. Listen to this. The word of God said, it will not matter how far you are how deep you are, whether it is the farthest place. God says, when you turn to me again, I'll pick you from there and bring you back to your own land. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter where you are, where you live. What matters is faith in God. If you believe your God, if you love the Lord your God, if you get his word, amen, you read it, you pray through it, you do it, amen, you walk in the ways of God, amen, you see the glory of God, you be different, you be a man and woman of distinction, hallelujah, I want to challenge you today. To believe God with all your heart, to love Him with all your soul, to stick to Him, to serve Him, you'll be different. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And hear this word. Some of you are saying, Oh, I served God many years ago. 
Now I'm, I'm retired. Hear the word of God. It's not time to retire. It's time to fire up. Hallelujah. Believe God again. Trust God again. Amen. Take God at his word. Amen. It's time to read the word again. It's time to believe the word again. It's time to pray according to the word. And do the word of God. You be his special people. You be his special people. And you possess the land. You turn many to God. Hallelujah. You be the blessing. Amen. You be the, the blesser. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wow. So he gave them power. To become children of God. Children of God. And says children who were born. Not of blood. Not of the will of man. Not the will of flesh. But born of God. Born of God. You are not a child of the flesh. Neither a child of the will of man. You are not a product of blood. You see. As a child of God, you must be able to look beyond the natural, to look beyond the body, to look beyond the body, and see your spirit. Remember, God is spirit. And so, when you are born again, it is your spirit that is born again. Nothing may change around your body. But when you say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you today. Your spirit is recreated. You are born of God. You become a child of God. The Bible says we have this treasure, this precious thing. In clay material. These bodies are mortal bodies. But there is a spirit in you uh, that never dies. That is the spirit God gives eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a good thing that we believe on Jesus and stay with Jesus. I want to appeal to you. Don't mix your faith with other things which are ungodly. Don't be a believer in Christ. At the same time, a worshiper of evil spirits, family spirits, clan spirits. No, no, no. Be a worshiper of the living God. And, amen. amen. And worship him alone. Sell your life to God. And say, I and my family, we will serve the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Christian life is a life. If you want it to stay alive as a Christian, there are certain things you have to do on a daily basis. If you do them, you remain a strong believer. If you forget them, your Christian life dies. Amen. 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 For example, you have to eat the word of God every day. As you eat atapa for your body, you have to eat the word of God for your spirit and for the renewing of your mind. That's why God loved us. Because he created us in his image. 
sent us his son Jesus okay, you get it, okay, yes, please, and okay. gave us his word okay, then okay, get that if we read it and believe it okay, but, but, so much, okay, and you believe know. what it says okay, you know, but, we can have a better life you don't have to serve the devil Mama, you don't have to compromise Mama, you, can you can stand your ground and God will see you through yeah. amen and God will see you through I want you to believe God Believe Jesus and Him alone. Don't add things to Him. Hallelujah. You know, the disciples of Jesus, they saw Him. They saw Him feed the hungry. They saw Him heal the sick. They saw him heal the sick. They saw him raise the dead. They saw him going to heaven. And they believed on him. And he gave them an assignment to tell the world that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And they and they began to do the work of preaching this good news that God doesn't want you to, 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 to offer booze to offer blood anymore he gave them the good news to tell the world that if you put, that if you put faith in Christ Jesus and trust him with, all your, li with your life his blood cleanses us. His spirit fills us. His name becomes our tool to use to defeat every devil. Amen. So they began to do the work. They were persecuted. Many of them were killed in a very bad way. They died painful deaths. But they stood their ground. They did not deny their Lord. Amen. They did not deny the faith. And today Jesus received them. They are in glory. They are shining brighter than the sun. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Jesus said, What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul? Sometimes, you can, if you compromise, and you don't stick to Jesus, it can cost you an eternity. But if you make up your mind, if you, make, if you decide, and say, I'm going to believe Jesus, and nothing else, devils get out of my life. Devil, family space, get out. Amen. Any, any norm, any tradition that glorifies the devil does not glorify God. Bye-bye. And you stay with Jesus. Even when your family hates you, it is well with you. It is well with you. Amen. Amen. Fathers, mothers, let's encourage our daughters. Let's encourage our sons to believe the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Like those men of the Bible, they believe God with all their hearts, with all their souls. Amen. They pay the price. The gospel is precious. Amen. 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 Christianity is alive. You sustain it by the word. Amen. 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 Acts 11 verse 14 says, Who will tell you words by which you will be saved? 
you and your whole house. If you want your house to be saved, if you want to be helped by God, you must hear his words. Amen. Bible says your words were found. And I did eat them. And they were to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Amen. May you find joy in the word of God. May you love the word of God. Amen. 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 Find time and read the word. When God sees you doing that, he will send you help. He will send you good things. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you read the word and pray, it's like eating and drinking. Amen. Amen. When you read the word, when you read the word, when you hear the word, amen, when you listen to the word, and you also pray, you are like eating and drinking. Amen. Amen. Those things go together. Amen. Amen. I found many Christians, they only pray. They only pray, they cry. They beg God. They beseech. Oh God, how long will you forget me? Oh God, how long will you be in Kampala and forget Ngola? Oh God, they pray. When you say, brother, do you know this verse which says, huh? No, I don't know. They are busy drinking. Amen. But they don't eat. Amen. Amen. They only drink. They don't eat. Amen. Amen. But remember, these things work together. Amen. Amen. We both need them. They are complementary to each other. They work together. You need the food. You need the drink. So I want to say to you, child of God, begin to read. Begin to engage the word of God. Use the word of God in its forms. Read it. Meditate on it. Amen. Hear it. Hallelujah. Amen. And pray. Can I live? Prayer. Can I live? Bible said the effectual prayer of a righteous man avails much power. When we pray, the power of God shows up. Amen. Amen. This poor man, the Bible says in Psalms 34. This poor man cried out to the Lord and heard him and delivered him from all his fears. Hallelujah. Amen. From all his fears. Child of God, when you fear, learn to bend your knees and talk to God and call for the help of God. God hears the prayer of the righteous. Amen. And do you know that you are righteous? Because righteousness is a gift of God. You don't work for it. You first receive it as a gift. And then you begin to to manifest it in your life, in your dealings. And God hears the prayer of the righteous. In other words, God hears the prayers of his children. Lift up your hands and say, my God, you will hear my prayers because you've given me the gift of righteousness. You've made me your child. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You've got to eat. You've got to eat. 
You've got to drink. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I, I, we discovered also. In order to live. In order to live. <laughs> you need to sleep. You need to rest. Amen. If you eat. And drink. But you don't sleep. You don't rest. Huh? Yeah. You die. It doesn't, how, doesn't matter how many potatoes you've eaten. It doesn't matter how many drinks you drink. If you don't rest, you die. You run mad. In the same way, the Christian life, in the Christian life, you're sleeping. You know when you sleep, you're resting. And what it means in the Christian life, it means trusting God. It means resting on, in God. If you pray, you read the word, but don't believe. You're like someone who is eating, who is drinking, but they never rest. They never rest. They collapse any day. They collapse any day. If you don't believe, you cannot be established. You've got to be a believer. When you believe in God, I say, Lord, I believe what you say. Lord, I believe that you hear my prayers. Lord, I believe you are my healer. Lord, I believe that eternal life is there. When you believe, you'll be strong. When you read the word, when you hear the word, and you pray to God, and worship God, and believe, you're not like, will it work? When you're not like, oh, we need to work. Will God ever help me? Oh, God is far. Yeah, I'm here. That's not faith. Faith you believe. If Jesus said, if, if his word says, that when you believe in Jesus, you become a child of God, you believe it. You may not feel it, but you believe it. Amen. Amen. When you believe, you please God. When you believe without seeing, you make God happy. And he says to the angels, send help, send help, send salvation. Write his name in the book of life. Heal his legs. Heal his back. Hallelujah. Shout, I'm a believer. Say, I'm a believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.